Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be opening up another Funko Pop Vital figure. This one from Overwatch, number 177, Diva with Mech. Now, this is one of the ones that, when I saw it, the, the article about this, I got really excited. Overwatch is a great game. There's one in a set of, what is it, four, five, six figures. Got all of them in. Uh, there are some special ones, so there's a May that has a uh, pink uh, suit instead of the blue. And there's a McCready with a um, an American flag. Not much difference. Although the May I have seen with a cool little stand. I don't know where they got that, but it's not in the regular one. Let's take a look at the rest of the box. Anyway, this is one of the ones that really got me excited about this set. Just came in from Amazon. Let's take a look at her. Oh, it opened really quick. Uh, let's just let gravity do the work for us. There you go. Put this to the side. Lay this down. I'm the easiest boxing one of these ever. This is one articulate little figure. Let's take a look at her. So it's a standard pink, uh, what do you call it, um, skin on her. Uh, she's got several different skins in the game. Uh, if you if you never played Overwatch, uh, the character of D.Va is actually a pro gamer from uh, Korea. Apparently in the universe of Overwatch, uh, during the Omnic Crisis, or I think this is after the Omnic Crisis, it's actually going on during the, the game, uh, Korea is under siege by this huge mech that comes and attacks the nation. It just comes out of the water and it attacks them. So they've developed a defense force of elite, ga elite gamers that are super fast at, you know, controlling video games to fight off the robot. Yeah, I know it's kind of weird, but yeah, what are you going to say? What are you going to do? It's a video game, right? Uh, nothing much moves on this, although it does look like it should. Uh, let's see, this opens up and let's take a look at the mech first. Here's her D.Va logo. These are, I have no idea what that is. I don't know what that says. Sorry. Mecha. Fair. So they call these robots in anime. Robot suits. Champion Esports. Oh, and look at this. She's got an even a little lizard logo on Blizzard logo on her side. Blizzard Entertainment. APM TV KR. And fighting. A lot of little details on this figure. Oddly enough, though, I, I wouldn't say it's one of the prettier ones of these big sets, big uh, Funko Pop. It's okay looking, it's not the best. As you can see, there's D.Va inside the mech, and she's holding the, the controls. Dusty there. Open her up, there's a little D.Va. You can see inside the game, and pop her. She's tiny, tiny little figure. Just pop her out of there. And when in game, when you finally, you know, deplete the power of the mech suit, what happens is little diva pops out, and she pops out a pistol and starts still shooting. See, so yeah, it's kind of like having to kill two characters, having her on there. She's a tank in the game, so she can take a lot of damage. She also has shields to deflect uh, enemy projectiles, bullets, stuff like that. And these guns used to do a whole lot of damage back in the day, but they got nerfed. And she has a thrust um, mechanic to her. Every now and then it'll charge, and then you can rocket boost, you know, f through the map. And her ultimate in the game 
she can actually pop out of her mech and send this thing flying at the enemy and this thing will just blow up and there's a little diva looking at you boom this thing blows up taking out most of the enemy team usually that's how a lot of teams end up winning some of the control point maps they just send in a diva after she's got her alt and boom let her do most of the work this thing's got a lot of the fine little details on her let's uh get this out of the way so we can focus in on the little diva she's got the standard funko dead eyes of course she's got the posture for holding the the, the two joysticks it's got a little ears here headphones high quality no doubt And here's our little suit. Diva's one of the ones that's gotten the most skins in uh, Overwatch. Great game. And, I mean, they've given her some really great skins. Uh, one of the ones she got recently was a police officer. You had to actually do the, uh, a challenge in Heroes of the Storm. So there's the little latch here. Open and closes. And they give her lots of skin. So like there's the police officer diva, which this looks blue and it looks like a police patrol up car. Uh, these really don't move a whole lot that I can tell. Looks like they're not really supposed to move. They're just there. Yeah. They're kind of just ta attached over here. They got some give, but I wouldn't really push it. intricate looking Funko pop out there I'd say about this one but not the prettiest I'd still have to give that to the Bioshock uh, figure the big daddy if you want to see it that's in uh, one of my other videos a lot of great detail on this figure though if you're a fan of the of the video game and a fan of D.Va herself, you're definitely getting this. It's a must. It really is. Let's uh, take a look at a figure out of there. Come on, D.Va. Let's get you out. Let's take a look at you on your own. The uh, opening there, latch, does not stay open too well. So just be warned. As for the D.Va figure, And there you have her. Diva with Mech from Overwatch. One of the most anticipated figures. And these guns look amazing, don't they? Let's look at the detail on it. A whole lot of pink. Uh, they really got to do the Officer v uh, Diva skin please blizzard make that happen anyway thanks for watching if you like the video hit the like button if you want to see more hit the subscribe button thanks for watching bye